Hello Aries and happy birthday and welcome to your April reading <laughs> to 2021. Um, 2021. All right. So um, I meditated on your energy and here is what Spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that came out is Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. Right away, that tells me there's a, you're right now shifting um, your capacity to receive and feel love from another. For some of you, that means a relationship is coming. But since we have the Ten of Swords, it's coming because you are releasing and finishing a cycle of swords. That means a cycle of how you used to perceive the other, perceive love, perceive your capacity to receive love, anything that has to do, old beliefs and, and whatever, anything that has to do with swords. After that, I have the sun, so clarity. And then I have the empress, the moon and the two of pentacles. So here we have the sun and the moon. So this is like, yes, I understand. I'm starting to have something happening. It's clear for some of you, I'm meeting somebody. For others of you, it can be just like the interactions with my peers, my family or whatever. Two of cups is all the mirrors in our lives. And then, whoa, I'm starting to juggle because it's starting to be easy and it's starting and it's funny to say some will call it you know fear of success or whatever but it's just when it's our uh, out of our comfort zone in a sense of i'm used to struggling um i'm used to uh, you know having people in my life that are more trickery or that aren't av available or you know um have been betrayed or whatnot, okay? Uh, swords. I'm uh, maybe uh, always reminded of the pains I had, three of swords and so on. And then things are light and easy. There's nothing hidden. It's all fine. I'm joyful. Oh, I will maybe have um, old things coming up. Uh, the moon this is when uh, we're kind of asked to go on a quest here because our soul needs to grow so our inner world will come in front of the outer world so they can match so here i'm seeing an improvement in the outer world and it's like your inner world your inner truth how you feel where you vibrate has to match up to this uh, because if not, you'll be juggling and it would create kind of a disbalance between the invisible and the visible, the feminine, the masculine, and so on. And here we have the Empress, which is all about abundance, unconditional love, um, you know, boundless capacity of receiving. So there's that adjustment arriving here under our Ace of Cups and, and uh, Two of Cups and Ten of Swords. Because the Ace of Cups right away, that tells me that you are rising. There's this Ace of Cups waiting for you to rise, augment your capacity to receive love, your, the vi your emotional vibration here, Aries. Under that, I have the High Priestess. This is all uh, part of a soul's lesson. This is all something that you have understood from your spiritual work or anything that, you know, you kind of heard your soul and understood. And under that, I have the king of wands. And there you are, Aries. And that's your masculine side of, uh, yes, this is what I want. I want an extra cup. I'm moving out of my 
comfort zone that was dealing with people that maybe, you know, brought me to a ten of swords. Life can be different for me and I am choosing it. That's the king of wands in this situation. Under the sun, I have the chariot, the ace of wands and the ace of swords. So, of course, ten of swords, ace of wands. After the ten comes the one. But here, an ace of wands on top of it. Um, so, we have three aces here. So, a true new beginning. And with the chariot, that tells me that, again, it is movement forward. You are crossing a threshold um, of the you before and the new you. But it, uh, it's a much lighter, uh, happier, more serene, passionate version of you, of who you truly are without the wounds. Under that, I have the Five of Wands and the Page of Wands. So by taking that wand, by taking that new direction, uh, you're holding it in your hand, Page. Of course, this is new for you. Okay, uh, that's going to make five plus one, six of ones, where we are in peace, where we are actually understand why things happen the way they happen in the past, and we can actually leave it behind. We have nothing to prove anymore. We don't need to prove how wrong we were uh, done. We don't need to prove the suffering to other people to be acknowledged in that manner. We acknowledge ourselves, and we are moving, leaving all of that behind, moving forward. Uh, and then here, as you're struggling, maybe, and this is just for the last readjustment so that your soul can actually grow and that you completely change your matrix in a way, how you perceive reality. I have the emperor, so the empress and the emperor. So that juggling is now going to be balanced between your feminine and your masculine. Spiritual, material, invisible, visible, yin, yang, name it like you want. Left brain, right brain, um, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And here, then I have the queen of swords, tree of pentacles you're going to end up having a completely different perception of your reality, allowing you to build, to have the will to build, the vision to do it, and the capacity to do it, Tree of Pentacles, and also to collaborate. For some of you, because here, bottom of the deck, I do have the Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, uh, maybe you were more of a loner, um, and even in romance, work, or whatever. But this is when we can start collaborating with others. In romance, we need to collaborate together also. We need to have the same will, same vision, and same capacity to actually invest ourselves into what we want to do. And the Eight of Pentacles, it is, and under that I have the Queen of Wands, you again. The Eight of Pentacles is that capacity to invest oneself and actually see results. So there's this completely new direction in what you, in what you invest yourself. Let's clarify this. call upon the divine, I call upon the light, I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Aries for the month of April 2021. Your solar return. And I think you're starting that new cycle on a completely different foot. OK, 
Okay. Oops. All right. Right away, they give me the Ten of Cups. And that's why you have the Ace of Cups here. After the Ten comes the One. Um, ten of Cups is like uh, all the Tens. We reach the Ten. We start again with the One. It's not a whole life process. I arrive at the Ten, Walt Disney Story. I'm happy for the rest of my life. We are in constant evolution. Your Ten of Cups... Uh, when you were 15, like uh, you probably heard me say, was probably when you got a bicycle and a boyfriend. And there you were in your Ten of Cups. The happiest you could be in that capacity to exchange and appreciate the life around you. The more conscious we grow, the more that Ten enriches. And we go through one cup and so on until we get to the Ten of Cups again. Here... There's that extra cup that came to you because you had finished your ten, your your cycle of cups of your capacity to feel and live grace, peace, love, inspiration, and so on. With the ten of swords here, these cups were tinted with swords, but now you're rising above it because you're opening up to an extra cup. That means opening up your capacity to receive more love king of sword you understand that let's look at the sun and here is the six of wands we have the five plus one and here is the six and this is what i was explaining Yes, I can leave all of that, my turmoil. If we're talking relationships here, the five of wands and the two of cups, this is like, I would like a relationship, but in my conscious and, un and unconscious, let's say, it's associated with uh, betrayal and, and or maneuvering or um, deceptions and, and so on. So if it is, and, and heartaches. So if it's associated with that, we want it, but not really. So this creates kind of a conflict. But by rising our vibration and Eight of Cups, understanding that, yes, there is another cup out there where I can actually live something on a higher level of consciousness, then I'm going to go for it. And I don't need to prove how wrong I've been done in the past. Now let's look, um, because the Six of Wands doesn't need to prove anything. Um, that's when the willpower has reached the heart chakra and we're in peace. And that's why it's in harmony, because you see all the ones around are cheering him up, welcoming him. Everything is in harmony. There's no conflict anymore. There's no need for boundaries or whatever it is balanced uh, queen uh, queen empress the moon and the two of pentacles for aries Yeah, see, Tree of Swords and Knight of Cups. So this is what I was explaining. This is your, this balance. How can we, Knight of Cups, be open to receive the cup of someone or even ourselves bring our cup here filled with love if it's associated with the Tree of Swords, with the disappointments and sorrows of the past? So this is why uh, the leftover is going to be treated with the moon quest. So that means bringing up to the surface these parts of you uh, so that you can actually choose which, you know, are you going to listen to the wolf or the dog or to, to the 
dark wolf and the light wolf and so on. But anyway, one part of you is attached with the ego that suffered all these things and that remembers it and that speaks to it in, in the back of your mind, you know? Uh, you're going to be hurt if you put yourself out there again or you'll never find anybody uh, like uh, whatever. Um, so this is one dog and the other one is connected to your higher self and knows better knows that life is meant to be shared and that we are uh, deserving of love and abundance and so on speaks in the words of the empress which one will you feed which one will you listen to and as you choose you will have to release one and actually cross the threshold here that's why there's two pillars to arrive on the sun on the other side that you are perceiving now but to really let go of the leftover grasp of reality you had of your past reality okay here the high priestess when the high priestess appears uh, that means there's going to be a big shift in our life. And this is a big shift. You're actually going to open yourself to receive love. Knight of Pentacle, Seven of Cups. And here is uh, Knight of Pentacle, your soul telling you how to progress, how to move forward, how to bring your, you know, life experience here forward and not be cut seven of cups in the projections of your old wounds as when you're trying to look forward and some of you probably were kind of stuck when it came to this side of your life because uh, the knight of pentacle is slow but if there's a seven of cups in front of him he's not even moving because when he's trying to see what is in front, he has a cloud, okay? A cloud with seven cups. Some of them have like, a, you know, Prince Charming in it or a castle in Spain. And the others, they have like a dragon, a snake in the grass and so on. So your dreams and your fears are all mixed up together. And that's why... We kind of need that extra cup to clear that. We kind of need to process which were your old wounds so that they are not in your perception anymore. And that was a soul evolution, a shift that is going to change your life. King of Wands. For some of you, this is how you perceive the Divine Masculine because we have the Emperor and the King of Wands here. So your own Divine Masculine and the Divine Masculine outside of you. Six of Cups. Let's see what fell. Okay. A couple fell, but I understand. Oh, wow. All right. So, of course, in those cups, what happens when we're stuck in there four of cups it's because we can't see that the universe wants to bring us to a higher level than the experience that we had in the past but we can't really imagine it because we haven't lived it so if we reduce our capacity to of what we can create in this life or experience in this life uh, to what we have had in the past then we can only create that so that is being stuck in the Four of Cups. And because we believe that, Five of Swords, this is how we sabotage ourselves. This is how we create self-fulfilling prophecies. Oh, I knew uh, they wouldn't be uh, possible. I knew, uh, you know, that, yeah, I'm not surprised that that person, you know, is saying that or doing that. Men are like that or whatever is that belief that just ruins everything and you may be right but you're not happy five of swords and right in your perception and your reality that you're creating because we create everything 
and here. High priest, a uh, high priestess, and the Pope. And this is exactly uh, the balance here. The balance of this is the realm of the high priestess and the realm of the Pope. Spirituality and the material world. How we apply it. That's why it's going to be religion, institutions, and things like that. So the invisible and the visible. And so, if in your invisible, you believe that relationships are ruled by this and that, then how can you create anything different? This is what you understand. This is why you're at the Ten of Swords. Oh my God, I, this is the end of it. I see the down. I have the, the clarity now with the Ace of Swords that's coming. But what my high priestess is trying to tell me what cosmic intelligence is trying to tell me and it all goes back to six of cups going into your heart chakra and opening yourself up to that free flow of receiving and giving like a balanced child that when you tell him you love him he'll just say yeah of course, you love me. It's obvious for me. Unless he was bruised and betrayed and hurt and so on. But to go back to the state that we are meant to be. So that we can manifest and create on that level. Okay. So that is a huge, huge uh, lesson of the mechanics of the universe. We don't receive the love uh, because we deserve it or whatever. We match where we vibrate in the invisible and the visible, in that beautiful balance. Let's look at that Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Chariot. And that's why chariot's first meaning is spiritual movement forward. Because his aim is directly on his aspiration, on his soul's goal. And he is mastering both his shadow and his light. That's why the two sphinx are there. And when these two are not aligned, when the Pope and the High Priestess are not speaking the same language, uh, they're going in two different directions here. And it's chaos. So here, with that new way of doing things and new understanding, clarity movement forward when it comes to the connections in your life. And like I was saying, it can be connections on, you know, many levels. Yes, because, and this is hard to make up, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cup. Ten of Swords, Ace of Cup. This is why you're moving forward. And here I have the Queen of Pentacles. And Queen of Pentacles is all about um, knowing our value, knowing our worth, knowing we have what it takes. Uh, she allows abundance. She allows to be supported. She allows to be engaged in. And she knows that whatever... Uh, she wants to do she will the universe or her own divine masculine will find the way to do it all right this is beautiful okay now five of ones page of ones magician temperance this is is a process that right now you are ready to understand on a cellular level okay because all of this we can understand here but it doesn't affect the matrix this is when we understand it because of the waters within us okay we're made of water uh, we're a machine of vibration from where our water vibrates, all of our cells and everything. Uh, temperance is helping us 
to rise that vibration, giving us the bigger picture, the bigger understanding. That's why it has the sun sign on his forehead. So here you see clearly and you understand how the universe works. And that's why the magician, don't, well, there's a lot of reflection. He has that same eternity symbol over his head. And that's how he can bring as above, so below with his hands like this. I bring from my higher self, from my connection to the divine into this world. I'm changing the matrix. I am the magician. Um, Empress with the moon. And so this is very powerful. Okay. And that's probably why you're going to have a bit of jiggers. Uh, old stuff that doesn't truly correspond with that are going to come up for you to address it and rise above it. So, like the judgment card. Ah, well, there it is. And not the judgment card, but Empress again, Temperance again. So, uh, not Empress, but the king, uh, Queen of uh, Pentacle. So, what I've explained about the Queen of Pentacle, this is uh, a state of being for her. She just knows it and it's natural. And that's why she lives it in her life. For people that it's natural to receive, they receive. For people that don't dare to receive because they, they have a lower self of value and worth and are easily sacrificing themselves in order to receive a little bit, it's very hard to receive. Even if the universe wants to give them a million dollars, their capacity to receive is so narrow. And it's the same for love. Temperance. This is the divine timing for you to understand that and to allow that in your life because you understand it. Let's look at the emperor here. So you have the pope and the high priestess, the emperor and the empress. So the two divine couples here. And here is the page of pentacle. So adding, and there's this new pursuit maybe at the end of the month. There's something solid and concrete that your own divine masculine or that the divine masculine outside of you is going to bring forward. So we're changing from anxiety, nine of swords, where when it came to how you manage your life or the masculines in your life. And if you're a man or a woman, it's the same thing. The masculine is how we act out there. So we have both of us, uh, both of them inside of us. How I act out there is my, is my emperor. How I perceive, receive, allow, and manifest, uh, attract is my feminine. So here, what used to be a source of anxiety now has a pentacle in its hand and is going to bring something forward to grow, to invest itself in, and so on, to build, because now it can see clearly what it can build, and for some of you, uh, with uh, people, whether it is a relationship, a project, or whatever. Ah, because temperance, yeah, the guides are very uh, efficient today. Here is our Eight of Pentacle, Eight of Pentacle, like I was saying, and here is Justice, rebalancing this for you. Because Justice rebalances because it understands something. That's why it has a sword and a, and a scale. The force of Justice comes with the grasp and consciousness of a situation, and then it can act upon it and rebalance it. That's why often, like with the high, priest, uh, the, pre, the high priestess and justice, often it's going to be like the end of a karma. Because you're perceiving things differently, therefore you're going to make different decisions and have a different outcome. The wheel will not be repeating itself. So there it is, Aries. I'm going to say, uh, wow. Wow. I'm just going to say, wow, and maybe that's going to be the title of your video.
because this is an amazing shift and having the arms open to start receiving and changing your life. And it's an amazing birthday gift. So, on that, I'm sending you all my love and light. If you want a private reading, the description is below. There's an email to write to me. Uh, and then I'm going to send you the information. Um, thank you for the ones of you that comment. I read all of them. I feel for you. And I cheer with you. Um, uh, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And new moon, full moon like today, I um, do a little ceremony to give you back. Um, apart from that, uh, all my love and light, and I'll see you next month. All right? <laughs>